one of my concerns in this to make sure that when a company signs an agreement that says I will exercise due diligence, I will take steps to re remove exploitation from my supply chains, that actually um, A, they do do that, but B, that when they do find it, they don't just sit on that information and they need to understand that they won't eradicate it if they just think that they can uh, brush it under the carpet. So they need to turn their words into action and sometimes that won't happen if it's just an agreement that's signed and walked away from. So that's why it's important then that enforcement agencies are involved in those discussions to explain to those companies what they need to do and how they need to do it and recognise where risks may arise if either they don't do anything or equally where they do something but they do the wrong thing and where they therefore could uh, decide that they've got a problem to deal with and actually therefore tackle the workers and the potential exploiters which creates greater risks for the safety of those workers. So that's one of those problems. The other important thing from an enforcement body like ourselves is that clearly we are always limited and there are far more employment agencies and companies employing workers and workers themselves than we've got inspectors. So we cannot cover everything. Um, and we always use the phrase that we cannot prosecute our way out of a problem. And labour exploitation is a major problem. So you have to tackle it in different ways. Now, one of those is the investigation and prosecution of those offenders that are exploiting workers. But the other is to actually raise the awareness of in industry and companies in general about how to assist by preventing exploitation getting into their supply chains in the first place.